It's all about eBay and it's all about product research. Now, if you have any questions or doubts, please leave me, leave me know on the comment section down below. I am streaming on Facebook, on our Facebook groups, and we are also streaming on YouTube. So let me know if you have any comments, any questions on the chat box section. Now, the more comments you guys make, the better, the more engagement you guys have with me, the better in terms of YouTube algorithm, that's gonna help us tons in order for me to actually grow the channel. Anyway, let's see here. We have one viewer. We, I welcome you. Thank you so much for being here. Again, my name is Enrique. Today is all about product research, and we're going to talk about three simple methods. One is going to be using a software called Zig Analytics. The other one will be using a platform called CJ Dropshipping. And the first one that I want to quickly show you guys is using the sniping technique. This means that you don't need to invest in a software or a platform in order to get or find profitable products. So let me go ahead and screen share right now with you. Before we start, I want to quickly show you that we have also a Dropship Academy page where we have different articles with different information, useful information. And this is gonna help you tons in terms of dropshipping as a whole, e-commerce as a whole. We have enough information here for you guys to read and you can apply this to your own online business. And I will be sharing you this right now. There it is. Now, let me also show you that we have a software called Dropshipping Software Management Tool, DSM Tool. So with this awesome software, you will be able to, first off, list your products or list your items into your store if you are dropshipping on eBay or if you're dropshipping on Shopify, for example. We have a dashboard alert over here. We let you know which of your products or your listing is not doing well or is underperforming. That means that you can remove that item and find a different one with a thorough market research, which I will show you how to do that during the stream. We also give you statistics of your sales in terms of month, days, and annually with your profits and your views. Uh, we have enough information. We also have different templates for you to play with depending on your plan. The best one that I recommend you guys to have would be the dynamic template. Uh, this is all about how your store is going to be looking. So when a user enters your store, this person will be able to see how this is visually arranged and it's better, it's always better to have a good aesthetics in terms of visual. Then we have another feature called DSM for Chrome, which I will be explaining how this is important for you guys to have. Um, this is going to help you and save you tons of time in terms of listing your items. And then we have an awesome course that you don't have, you cannot miss. Uh, in here, we show you exactly how to start drop shipping on eBay and how to start your own online business as a whole. We explain from A to Z. It is a full guide in terms of how to set up your account on eBay, how to set up your business policies, how to connect those business policies and set them up in DSM tool and so on and so forth. So you get the idea. Uh, we have. Let me go ahead and give you the exact web page over here. Get there. If you if you can sign up, uh, we have different plans to let you know. We work around with more than 50 suppliers or more than 50 websites. So it is a great tool. And if you want to be very, very professional on your on new online venture, I highly recommend you guys to get DSM tool. Uh, we also have affiliate programs. And last but not least, I will be showing you guys quickly once I find a product for you how we list it and how we optimize it and why is it so important to optimize your listings before publishing your listings and also after you already publish your products why is it so important in terms of ebay especially if you're using the the online arbitrage approach which is drop shipping from another website um or another retailer such as in this case we're going to be doing that from aliexpress if you have any question, guys, for you, for those of you watching currently, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, I am streaming on Facebook and I'm streaming on YouTube currently. Uh, and this stream is all about product research, how to find great products. And not only that, I already have for you guys prepared and I want to showcase those items during the end of the stream. Five profitable winning products that I found yesterday throughout this method that I'll be showing you guys. And also I'll be giving you a great calculator sheet where you can first off calculate your profits, calculate the fees that you need to pay, and also save your competitors there and your items there. It's going to be great. So let's start, right? 
Okay, so enough said. The first step I want to show you guys to do is the sniping technique. So for example, if you don't have money or you don't want to invest in a software, a product research software such as SIG Analytics, which is a great software, by the way, or if you don't want to, let's say, pay a subscription or or have or use a platform such as CJ Dropshipping to find products, you don't need that at the beginning, though all you need is your knowledge. And how to do that? We start on AliExpress. AliExpress, guys, is a it's another website such as eBay is a marketplace. Uh, before we start, I do, I'm not going to get into the subject. You can read that specifically on this article right here. Before, let, before I explain, let me just go ahead and share that with you guys. Give me one second. There you go. Okay, so if you're using this approach, then just know that it is not allowed on eBay and you will get flagged, but this doesn't mean that you're going to get banned at all. You can still make sales. You can still operate on eBay. As long as you provide a great customer support, you make sales, you find great products to sell and so on and so forth. We explain everything there. So go ahead and read it. I don't want to get into the subject. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be using AliExpress. So over here, guys, we have three steps on the sniping technique. First step is finding other dropshippers. The reason why you want to find other dropshippers on eBay, for example, is because eBay as a market has a vast majority of sellers who do not dropship, who they own an inventory. Either they either manufacture the product or they purchase an inventory ahead, meaning that they do a wholesale dropshipping approach. That's a different topic for a different video. So being this said, in terms of finding products to compete against or sellers to compete against, it's going to be very, very hard for you to find the same exact items that these sellers are selling on eBay and find those same products under a lower price. Because the, the goal here of the online arbitrage approach is to find a good product with enough sales on eBay or a demanded product and then sourcing that same product onto a different website such as AliExpress for a lower cost. That way, you can resell it at a, at a higher price, being cheaper than your competition to be competitive in terms of pricing, but enough money to cover your fees and enough money to gain some profits. So just stick to dropshippers because there's a lot of dropshippers as well on eBay. If you're starting, stick to them, find other dropshippers and compete against them and find out what products they're selling and why they're selling so good because I've found a lot of dropshippers who are doing the same exact thing as, as I am doing, sourcing items from AliExpress, for example, meaning from China, and they have a lot of good sales. Okay, so that's step number one. Then step number two, when, once you've found a dropshipper, analyze his or her store. Uh, and once you analyze his or her store, try to fi figure out which are the best selling products that you can maybe find and source yourself on AliExpress and then optimize it and resell it to be competitive. <clears throat> so I'll be doing ex executing each of each step. But before I start, I want you guys to have two great tools for this uh, product research method. The first one would be Ali Tools. Since we're using AliExpress, Ali Tools is a price tracker extension uh, that will allow you to not only track ch price changes on AliExpress on certain products, but also it analyzes pictures. This means that if you find a good item on eBay, you can quickly hover over the image and then you can analyze the image with this tool and it's going to give you all the results from people who are selling this exact same product on AliExpress. And that way you, it's even easier and quicker for you to figure out which, with, with which supplier you can work with. So that and also is gives you uh, over here, as you can see, it gives you a seller rating. So this way you can analyze if that seller that you're choosing on AliExpress is reliable or not. Keep in mind that when it comes to drop shipping, you don't own that product. You don't ever see that product. You don't hold inventory of that product. You don't know how that product is. You need to rely on what are the reviews of that item on AliExpress with the page where you're sourcing. What are the reviews for the seller? Because that would be your pretty much your face when it comes to selling. So for example, you grab the you find a good product on AliExpress, you place it on your store. You, you grab the information, the images, and so on and so forth. 
Then somebody purchases from you that item. And what you do, once you get a purchase, then you grab that money, you put the order on AliExpress, paying the price of the product on AliExpress, the shipping fee of the product on AliExpress. And then obviously as a seller, you need to cover your PayPal plus eBay fees. And then you ship out that item onto your client and anything left is your money. So you have to be very, very wary about with whom you decide to source the product from on AliExpress, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is one. And the second one would be this eBay popularity sort, which is a great tool. Both of them of which you can download it and install it for free. Here you go, the, uh, the link. One second. Okay, and the other link. So eBay popularity sort, this tool allows you to sort items from the most popular products on eBay to the least one. So for example, on the sniping technique, once you found a dropshipper and once you are on his or her store, uh, with this tool automatically is going to give you the, within the first results, the best selling products that you can analyze. So it's good. It's a, a great time saver. So let's go ahead and start over here. The first step, you don't care about the product. All you care about finding other drop shippers, but let me give you a tip. Let's try to figure out which item most likely is being drop, drop shipped on to eBay. So on AliExpress, you have categories and then for each category, you have subcategories, right? Okay. So normally I've seen that the category of home and improvements, home improvements and tools is a great category because on the USA or well, in the world too, but in the USA, um, home improvement and tools is a great category to sell because people are always looking to improve their homes year round. So a lot of products are moving fast and quickly and they're selling year round, right? This is these, these products are always sold on the, these types of, uh, websites. So if you find a product, let's say that is being sold on AliExpress a lot under a good category, most likely that same item is being drop shipped onto eBay. So once you figure out, or once you choose whatever, whichever category you want, but I, I always choose this one first, then sort by orders to try to figure out which are the best selling products at the moment with the most orders. Because again, that means that that item is being drop shipped on eBay uh, by another drop shipper. So it's going to be easier for you and quicker to find other drop shippers. So click on the picture, click on the item, you're heading to the uh, products page. Now over here, you're going to be heading now on this step to eBay onto eBay, head over to advanced search on advanced search. You want to focus on three fields, keyword field. This means the title of the product, which you find over here, you copy control C to copy control V to paste, then scroll down and on location. Since you are, since AliExpress is from China, you are sourcing products from China and you're looking for other people who are doing the same thing preferably find only or filter only products on eBay that have an items location set in China. So you want the item to be located in China. So just put that there, put China, and then don't forget to click here to mark it. And last but not least, the price. Now over here, I want to go ahead and quickly explain something. When you're a drop shipper, right? Or a seller, but especially, specifically a drop shipper, you have to cover a few fees, your break even, right? So on this break even, you need to cover your PayPal fees and your eBay fees. PayPal is a great payment method, specifically as a seller, which I always recommend you guys to have that payment method because a lot of people prefer paying through PayPal. So when it comes to having a PayPal account as a seller, PayPal deducts from you immediately after every single sale, 2.9%, I believe, plus a 30 cent fixed, fixed price fee. Uh, if you are drop shipping on the USA, if you're drop shipping elsewhere, then what the, what um what paypal does is they charge you 4.4 or 4.9 percent i don't remember plus the 30 cents that never moves okay out of every single sale so that's your first fee you need to take care of second fee would be the paypal fees now pay, i'm sorry the ebay fee so ebay reviews your account every single month so when they review your account for the majority of products that you might be selling they charge you a final value fee of 10 percent if you were selling this on Amazon, then Amazon charges you a 15%. So eBay is cheaper. That is why we recommend eBay because it's a smaller market. It's a huge market, but it's smaller than Amazon, less competitive than Amazon. And for beginners, we highly recommend you to start with eBay. 
So you have 10% plus 2.9% in the fixed fee that you need to cover this me. And not only that, you need to cover the price of the product on AliExpress and the shipping fee. So you have those four big, um, let's say fees you need to take care of, right? Or, or, or expenses you need to take care of. So your break even because of that would be between 14 to 15%, right? So 15% as a whole out of the, pro of your price that you said should be covering those fees, anything above that 15%. Once you cover your fees and the prices and the shipping fee, that is your profit to take. So that is, this is what we call the 30% markup. This is what every dropshipper is doing. So the way to figure out who is dropshipping on eBay is to figure out who is actually um, putting the price to cover those fees. So what you do is the following, um, grab your calculator over here and grab the, uh, the price of the product and the price of the shipping method. Uh, in this case, let's use this example. Now, you know what? Let's use a different example. Let's try to use different. Let's try to use this one. Let's see here. I just want to, I just want to focus on AliExpress. There you go. Standard shipping. Okay. So let's use this product right here. Let me go ahead and change the information here. Perfect. Okay. So over here, Grab the full price of the product. Let's say let's grab the highest price, $4.70 uh, for five meters of this tape, right? You grab that, you put five, wait, how much? 4.70 plus the shipping fee that is 2.35. And that amount you multiply by 1.3, that is a 30% market I'm, I was explaining. And this leads to a 9.16. This would be the minimum price that a dropshipper should have on this item to cover his or her fees totally. So what you do is you put that bare minimum 9.16 over here. So you, you will filter out every single product of that same item by people who are selling this exact same item for at, le at least nine bucks or more with an item's location based in China. And that's going to be for you very easy to determine who is drop shipping and who is not. Then just scroll down and hit the search button. Okay. So as you guys can see here, we only have, let's see, we only have one, one, um, one result. And before I move on this part, I might find products that will lead me to some profits. And if I do, I will share you the link of those products so you can have those products yourselves on your store. But if I don't, don't worry. It takes some time when you're drop shipping, you have to, you know, take a full day. If you can, if you can to try to figure out and try to do your product research thoroughly. So this is only me showing you the process. I might find something good. I might not. doesn't matter. I just want to show you how I did it and how I do it. Okay. So click on here before we click on it. I just want to say another thing, another tip for drop shippers, right? For you to know who is drop shipping or not. It's not only the price, but also in the items location, but also how much feedback that seller has. So normally on eBay, a seller that has more than 5,000 feedbacks, would not be considered a drop shipper. Why? Because normally that person would, would have an inventory which he or her or she bought ahead or a product that he or her or she manufactured. And that way uh, they have a high inventory rotation and that means that they're not drop shipping. But if you see a store that has less than 5,000 or even 100 or less than 100 feedback, uh, that you find that number over here, as you guys can see, this seller has seven feedbacks only, then that most likely would be a more realistic to, uh, to be a drop shipper. So click on this one over here. So seven feedback, the store, um, uh, items location on China. This is, let's see, you can scroll down. You can figure out that information through shipping and payments. There you go. Sh items location is China with a 30% markup normally. And once you kind of figure out which is a drop shipper, then head over to the seller's information. In here, you will find the store's name, click on it. And then over here, you're gonna find another thing, another tip that I wanna give you. Normally, drop shippers are people who live and reside in Europe, for example. So you have Morocco, Greece, Israel, um, countries like that, even the USA, 
But in the USA, you have to keep in mind that they have to have an items location in China. If you find a US seller who have items based in um, US warehouses, then most likely he is not a drop shipper. So as you guys can see, being that said, over here, you can see that the seller's location where that person is, is Israel. So most likely we found a drop shipper. Now, once you figure out the first step and once you are already on the second step, which is analyzing that person's store, what you do is head over to items for sale where you're going to be able to see all the products this person offers. And by having the eBay popularity sort activated, this is going to be giving me automatically the products that are best selling on this store. So the first product is this fast wireless charger uh, for iPhone. Okay. So let's click on this product and try to figure out if this is a good item that we might want to sell. So this is the this is now the third step, which is finding their best selling products. Click on this step. And now a few things I want to quickly go over. Actually, not a few things. One quick thing, which I highly recommend you guys to always look out for. Try to find products specifically on this on, on the on drop shipping, on the on the drop shipping industry. If you want to be competitive, try to find products who have at least three to four sales in a month, right? Let's say in the past 30 days, because if that product has at least three to four sales or even more, that means that that product is demanded on the market that you're going to be able to sell that product quicker. As you guys can see, this one over here has only two sales. It the, for me, it doesn't work. You can decide to go ahead and drop ship it, but for me, it doesn't work. Um, the way you can see when this one, when was this item sold, you can click on this link on the transaction table over here, and it's gonna give you the variation that was sold, the price that it was sold for, the quantity, and the date of purchase. So this was the last time somebody bought from this seller. This item was on February second. So again, for me, this is not a good item. Not much people are buying from it. Uh, but this is what you do. Again, I said that I will not look for a, a profitable product because I already have in store for you five. This is only the process. Anyway, once you already, let's say that this product has more than 10 sales. Let's say that this product is a great item, right? A demanded item. Okay. Now, what do you do in order for you to source the same product on AliExpress? By having AliTools activated, hover over the image, and you will see that magnifying glass on the left top corner. If you go over there, you'll see that this says find an AliExpress. So just click on that. It's going to send the image, analyze it, and then it's going to give you all of the sellers who are offering that same exact product on the AliExpress or at least something similar. So over here, you want to be, you want to take care of two, you want to figure out two things. One, the cheapest option. And two, an, uh, let's say an option that has more than 10 orders. Like over here, you can see this one has two, three, no orders. This one has 6,000 orders. So the reason behind that is because the more orders that product has on AliExpress, the more reliable that seller would be because the more reviews will that, that, that seller will have and so on and so forth. Right now, I'm going to explain what you have to figure out and what you have to analyze in terms of supplier. But the first step is Find a product over here on the search results that have more than 10 orders and something cheap, right? So you can sort by cheap first if you want, uh, and you can move on from there. For example, th this is not the same product. This is something similar, um, but this one over here has uh, 22 orders. Click on it, $4.22, very cheap. Click on it, you're going to be directed to the products page on AliExpress. So over here... A few things which I want to quickly explain. Now, let me go ahead and do without sorting. Let me find this one over here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, look at the difference. Okay. So, over here, you have different different sellers that you can find on AliExpress. You can choose the best one for you. If you choose the most cheapest, let's say the cheapest seller, like this one over here. Sorry, this one over here that the products uh, the products price varies from 4.22 dollars all the way to 23 right let's go ahead ship from china and then let's choose the color black is 23 bucks okay anyway so over here guys you want when you analyze a supplier you want to figure out first how good that product is and the way you find that out is by figure by looking at the star rating over here 
the reviews, and the amount of orders. So this seller has 21 orders made. Out of those 21 orders, three reviews, and out of those three reviews, they gave a bad 3.3 star rating to this product this means that this item from this seller is not good it's it's not good i was going to say a word i don't know if youtube's going to ban me but it's not good so you, now you see that the quality assurance of this item is not that great then you want to figure out how good is this seller the way you do that is on the left top corner you see a positive feedback rate so you see that this person has 86.8 percent now moreover you can see the detailed seller ratings here Three major uh, metrics. Item as described, this means that this, the buyer is getting the same exact product as showcased on this uh, on this page. Communication, this means how good is this seller communicating with the client. And then shipping speed, shipping speed is out of those shipping methods that this seller offers, how good are they, how, how fast are they. So as you guys can see, this seller is not that great, is below average. So, and not only that, you want to always check on AliExpress, uh, Ali Tools seller ranking. So Ali Tools analyzes the seller, and it gives you over here. This is Spanish, but it gives you um, all the metrics of the seller. It kind of explains how that seller operates and how efficient that person is. And this person has a uh, kind of low eighty-two percent, not that great, as you guys can see. And last but not least, you want to always check on the business policies. You want to have set up your PayPal, your payment policies, uh, your in terms of business policies on eBay, shipping po shipping policies. If you're drop shipping from AliExpress, you have to set that up accordingly. We have that information available on our lessons in the Dropship Academy. And also, you want to figure out if that if you want to have a return shipping policy, all uh, shipping. I'm um, sorry, return business policies, which will lead up to a great customer, let's say satisfaction. Uh, so you want to give that option to your customer. And if you have the, that option enabled, then it's going to be even better for you as a seller on eBay. Anyway, the same thing goes over here. When you find a supplier, try to figure out if that supplier offers at least one of the one or two things out of those policies. Money back guarantee. This is something that eBay has the money back guarantee policy and at least a return policy. So if you find that that this seller has at least one of them, then that's good. So these are the metrics that you want to analyze when you're analyzing a, a seller on AliExpress. Star rating for the, the for the quality assurance of the product, how much reviews that person has, how much order that person has. Then you want to analyze the positive feedback and see how good is he or she on these three metrics figure out how much the seller ranking or rating is uh, from Ali Tools, which is an external source. And last but not least, to figure out what business policy this seller offers. Now, you saw that this seller is not good. However, look at this one over here. This one over here has 4.7 star rating on the product out of 2,400 reviews and more than 5,000 orders, right? So a lot more people are buying from this seller. And out of those huge amount of people who are buying from this seller, they gave a solid 4.7 star rating, star rating to a product. This means that this item from this seller is great. Moreover, positive feedback, 95.5%. Item as described, above average, 4.7. Communication, above average, 4.6. Shipping speed, above average, 4.7. Not only that, uh, free shipping using AliExpress standard shipping offers two out of the business policies, money back guarantee and free return. And last but not least, the Alley Tools review gives this a solid, this seller a solid 91%. So this seller in comparison to this one, they're selling the same thing, although they have different performance. And that is something you need to be, first off, this is something you always need to be wary about when you're looking for a supplier on AliExpress. And an example for you on eBay, because you might be selling the same product as your competitor, but if you don't execute your work accordingly, if you don't optimize your listings, if you don't provide a good customer support, if you're not on top of your store, you're going to be underperforming versus that other person, even though you're selling the same exact thing. So this is how you analyze a supplier. And once you figure out, let's say this is the item that you want this is the item that you figure out this is a good product. It's going to lead you some profits. And I will show you how you can figure out that later on when I showcase the products that I have for you in store. 
So once you figure out all this by using the Chrome extension from DSM tool, just click on where it says list in DSM is going to take you directly to our rapid lister. And on the rapid lister, you can see here that it grabs the information or the link from AliExpress onto the, on, onto here. You can publish it to eBay. You can choose the template you want. Uh, and then you just hit the import button and just wait for it to grab all the information imported onto DSM. And once that is done, then you start optimizing title. You start optimizing your price. You start optimizing your images. You start optimizing your categorization of the product and the items description. If you want to learn more about that, I don't, I, I don't want to get in too much in, too much into that subject because that is now why we need to optimize listings, not product research. But you can figure out that information over here on this article. And we're, we're, we will have very soon a, a big video explaining exactly step-by-step step how to execute this best practice when you're a seller on eBay and why it's so important. But there you have it. You can go ahead and read it. Uh, we even have more information, images and such. So you can, you can be on top of that. Anyway, once you, as you guys can see, we already imported all the information. All you need to do is change the title and we explain on that article why you can change your prices by hitting the edit price over here. You can decide if you want to sell all the variations of that product, or if you want to sell just one, then you can just, you know, click on here and then just um, select the one that you want to sell over here. You can put the target price. Let's say you want to sell this for 15 bucks and then you have, hold on for 25 bucks. And then you have your estimated profit. We already calculated this for you. So you know that out of this, out of, out of every single sell on this variation that you sell for 25 bucks a piece, you're going to be earning $7.8 as profit with your break even set up, uh, which you, we show you exactly how to set up everything on the dropship Academy. You can also add specifications, which is very important. And, and, and about the, um, template. This is the template by choosing, let's say the dynamic template. This is what your buyer will see when he or she enters your store with your title optimized. Look at that. This is beautiful. So we have everything for you. You don't need to invest in designing your own website uh, or your own store. We do it for you by DSM tool. So go ahead and get it. Anyway, this is how you find, this is the first product research method. Now let's head on over to Zik Analytics. Now on Zik Analytics, let me get rid of this. We're going to be doing the same exact thing, except over here, for those of you who have Zik Analytics, and if you don't have Zik Analytics, I recommend you to go get it. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good product research uh, software. Although we're going to be having our own research software within DSM tool is going to be great. It's going to be called power drop and we're going to have everything you need, especially for beginners to find in a quick way, great profitable products. But in the meantime, let me show you how to use sick analytics. So over here you have your dashboard, head over to the product research over here, the, this magnifying glass and over here, you want to start first off, have eBay set up here. Second off feedback. So as I, as I mentioned before, you, anything, any seller on eBay that possesses more than 5,000 feedback, that most likely will not be a drop shipper. So as a bare minimum, you can put, I don't know, 50 doesn't matter as a maximum put 5,000. Now over here, you're going to be putting only three to four keywords from the title of the product that you choose that you want to look for. So for example, doing the same exact thing, going to, going to whatever category you want, choosing whatever product you want randomly. Uh, let's say, let's say, let's choose a different one here. Let's try to choose, or you know what? Let's try to change to lights. Let's see. I'm getting windy. My voice is getting winded, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's see, let's choose this one, this light lamp. So out of the title that this title possesses over what, like 80 characters, just only grab three to four keywords and try to make sense out of it. So for example, we can grab selfie ring. We can grab selfie ring. Hold on. Mobile. Um, yeah. Three, because if we put mobile phone, we could put mobile. Let's, tr let's try to figure out if we can 
find good results with selfie ring mobile phone go ahead paste it and hit the search button let's see now once you've done that if you scroll down you will be able to see all of the sellers who are selling this product most likely drop shapers right so i want to give you another tip try to avoid sellers located in anywhere in asia china sri lanka the reason behind that is that most likely those sellers are not drop shippers they possess their own inventory they might have an item location set up in china but this means that they either manufacture their product in china or they're buy their inventory in china i will show you how to drop ship inventory and but by using cj drop shipping but that is going to be after i show you how to use the analytics so in the meantime on sick avoid this so you can see here that they give you already on this small circle like uh, uh the flag from the country of the seller right so over here you see that this one is china 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 sri lanka but you can choose let's say lithuania over here you can choose lithuania france anywhere else that is not china or sri lanka or anywhere near asia right or in asia sorry so what you let's say let's choose this one over here that is lithuania you put or you click on scan seller and it's going to give you this page where zig analyzes that seller it gives you the sell for rate this means how much that seller is selling in the past over here as you guys can see 30 days okay how much of active listings that seller has currently how much um of the out of those listings how much has this person sold uh the feedback score uh, sold items how much that person is gaining in terms of revenue not profit so revenue so this this is what this person is gaining per month eight thousand bucks but you need to consider that you need to deduct also the fees that that person has to be covering every single month and the average price but you don't care about that you only care about the product right now so another tip i give you on sick is you want to find items that have generated at least three to four sales so put a bare minimum of sales here three right that it would be your minimum and the price put set it up as eight the reason behind that is that again you have to keep in mind that you need to cover paypal ebay fees plus the price on aliexpress and the shipping fee uh or the shipping price on aliexpress so anything if you find a product that is below eight dollars most likely when you try to find that same item on aliexpress because we're going to be doing the same exact thing as we did on the previous method i showed you then most likely you will not find a product that's going to you know give you profits so you want to gain as much profits as possible so put a bare minimum of sales three in the last 30 days and a minimum price of eight hit the filter button and over here you have different products right that meet that same metric so let's start with this one this product has nine sales made in the past 30 days total sales made overall this means that in the last month this person managed to sell this product only uh, the current price of the product would be $9.5. Click on the item and you're going to be directed to the item on the products page, sorry, on eBay from this specific seller. So over here, again, you can figure out, you can click on the transaction table. This is a good product because again, it has a lot of sales made. Look at this on April 6th, right? About five days ago, this person managed to sell one, two, three, four, five times this item. So that gives you an idea that this product is demanded people are buying this product people want to buy this item so that's good okay that's a good step secondly this item's location is in china we already know that and now it's time for you to figure out um, if you can source the same item on aliexpress so you do the same thing hover over the image click on find on aliexpress and let's try to figure out which supplier works best for us Okay, so this one it it's worth two point eighteen dollars and have and has one hundred and twenty eight orders. Click on it. Let's see. Let's figure out. Hold on. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, the mix. Uh, let's choose shipping now. Over here, I always recommend you guys to choose uh, either AliExpress tender shipping or 
ePacket, the reason behind that is because they offer a tracking information, tracking number, right? They have this little check here. That is very important because as a, as a metric when you are a seller on eBay, you need to upload a valid tracking number and that will allow you and your customer to have to keep track of where the order is going. So an ePacket or AliExpress in their shipping, they are reliable, they're somewhat fast, and they're cheap. So let's use this one over here, AliExpress in their shipping. Now, let me show you another thing I want to give you, and I will give you access to that specific calculator sheet. The way we can determine how much profit we'll gain so far will, will be through this sheet that we created for you guys based on your break even that normally is between 14 to 15 percent and the paypal fees that are 30 cents we what we did here and let me go ahead and zoom this in is that we already have for you all the calculations made you don't need to calculate anything but you just need to fill the information here so when it says where it says eBay price, you are going to be putting the price that this seller is selling this item for on eBay. So you put 9.50, 9.50. There you go. Then you head over to the uh, product here, and then the product is worth 0 0.01 cent. This item is worth 0 0.01 cent. So we put that number here, 0 0.01, and then the shipping uh, the shipping price would be 2.53 with AliExpress standard shipping, 2.53, and voila. You can see that this seller has a total profit margin of $5.28 per every single sale. Not only that, we show you how much fees you need to be paying. So deducting the fees and deducting what you need to cover in terms of the price and the shipping fee, you are going to be left with $5.28 if you sell this item for $9.50. However, to be competitive against other sellers or against this specific seller, you want to sell this item for a cheaper price. So let's sell it for nine bucks. It doesn't matter how cheap, as long as you're cheaper, you can sell it for you can you can lower your price for a couple of cents or for a dollar. Doesn't matter as long as you're cheaper. Don't go too cheap because you want to maximize profits. But as you can see, if we sell it for nine dollars instead of nine point fifty, we can still get a solid four point eighty six dollars profit margin out of the deal and this would be considered a profit making product because anything above four dollars that will give you a profit is considered a profit making product so yeah uh so yeah we found a good item um let me add this to the pit let me go ahead and show you now uh the uh what i'm going to be sharing with you guys i'm going to be sharing with you guys this file over here it's the same thing if you want to now keep in mind this is only going to be the viewers version that's it uh if you want to you know edit everything up here we have the instructions right here it's simple just go ahead to file just go ahead and make a copy call it whatever you want click ok and then you'll have access to changing or to playing around with it it doesn't matter and over here where it says aliexpress these are the items that I found for you guys. So you can see here that all these items are profit makers, and I'll show you quickly why during the end of the stream and how much profit the seller is getting out of the deal. Look at that five, eight, seven, four, eleven dollars. So, yeah, it's a good I, I found a great items. Now, let's add this one over here. Oh, sorry. Now, let's try to add the new one that we found right now using SIG Analytics. So, first off, let's grab no let's, let's grab the aliexpress then let's go where is it hold on oh there you go we put it right here and let's get back to now we just grab the ebay one here so you have access to that put it over here uh and i found the same product oh sorry i found this oh again okay, doing a mess right now Okay, so I found this product today again, and this is a profit maker. There you go. Uh, the seller is gaining five bucks, so we put five dollars. And let's see here. The seller ranking on this item is for ninety-seven percent. So that's a good seller ranking, ninety-seven percent. Now you have six winning items that I just found for you guys. But before I get to this one. 
let's finish off this product research methods by showing you how this is how you find items using Zig Analytics. Um, again, it's all about going to product research, putting minimum 50, maximum 5,000 in feedbacks, putting three to four keywords from the title of any product on AliExpress. Then uh, you'll you'll be giving um, you know a list of several uh, several sellers on eBay. Always choose sellers who do not reside on China or Sri Lanka, and then. Pretty much analyze that cell store, filter everything up from three cells minimum on the last 30 days to $8 as a minimum in terms of prices. And yeah, that's what you do. Now, let's. I want to quickly, just quickly to end the stream up and show you the products that I found for you guys. We have 45 minutes in. How to use CJ Dropshipping. So CJ Dropshipping is a third-party company. It's a wholesale supplier, we can call it that what they do is that they source items for you that is one of the biggest things that they do they source items for you um, they negotiate with different manufacturers or suppliers in china and they come back to you with a great price so if you decide if you want to comply with the ebay uh, dropshipping policy then i highly recommend you to start using cj because with cj dropshipping you can wholesale and dropship at the same time and you will be complying with with the eBay policy because you're going to be buying directly from a third party company called CJ Dropshipping, which is this one. So there are four big ways to source items. The first one would be, as you guys can see, this uh, the, the website is kind of like the AliExpress page. You have your categories and subcategories. They have some products. So the first way you can find items is by choosing whichever subcategory and category you want, and you can figure out if that's a good item. Second way is by um, SKUs, this means the uh, product's um, ID identification or serial number, or by just a simple keyword, let's say, I don't know, let's, uh, let's say hats, right? Or, or, or you know what, let's uh, say smartphones, smartphones, hold on. Well, just put smartphones and then it's going to give you your options and you can figure out, you can sort by best match, by prices, by the newest and so on and so forth. All the third way you can find items here is by dragging or uploading an image. So let's say you want you found an image on Google that you let's say let's say you found a whey protein shake, a uh, whey protein powder, and you want to figure out if CJ can find that same item on their platform. Just go ahead, grab the photo, and upload it here. And yeah, that's what you do pretty much, and they find it. But the one, the, the fourth way that I want to quickly go over and show you and explain to you is this one. Hit the click on sourcing. Uh, let me sign in. Okay. So this is my profile here. This is uh, only, oh, sourcing failed. Okay. I tried to source two different items, which only one of them was successful. I'll explain what happened. Uh, but over here on your CJ, in my case, I don't have a paid plan. You can have your CJ platform set up and you don't need to have a paid plan. However, you're only allowed to source five different products every single day by not having a paid plan. If you have a paid plan, which you can figure out on the CJ dropshipping page, uh, you can source up to 200 items a day. And the more items you source, the more items you list, the better as a seller on eBay. Anyway, uh, over here, you want to post a sourcing request, right? So focus on individual products because this is something from, if you have already a exist, existing store, then you can choose this one, but it's always better to choose individual product. Now over here, you are, you're going to be filling up this uh, following fields. You're gonna be uploading the picture of the, of the product, the product tag would be the category of that product where it is in, let's say phone and accessories, if it's a phone or a charger or something related to the phone, the product's name, right? The full title, the target price, this means how much money you want to, or what is the price that you want to be selling that item for? Destination country, where you are drop shipping, let's say in the USA, you just put United States, uh, the United States, you'll find that, there you go, the United States of America. And you can either drop ship, right, or bulk purchase. This means bu buying inventory of the same item. Buying more 
of the same product. So choose drop shipping at the beginning. You're drop shipping if you want. If you choose drop shipping, then all you need to do, and this is the most important part, all you need to do over here is put the sourcing URL in order for CJ to have a better grasp of the item that you're looking for. So once you, let's say I am choosing this product, so I fill everything up, I, you know, fill here, I put the product's name, uh, product's price would be cell phone and accessories. Hold on. Phone and accessories, upload image. Um, yeah, let's upload this image. Wait, hold on. Let's grab the image. Uh, let's upload this one. Uh huh. Okay. In pictures. There you go. Perfect. We put it here. Now let's upload the image. Hold on. Pictures. Oh, where is the picture? Oh man. Okay. Anyway, let me let me try to do it again. Or you know what? I don't want to lose too much time. You get the idea, right? Okay, anyway, you upload the image, you put the price that you want to sell it for, it doesn't matter, let's say 15 bucks, and then you just place the URL here. And if you want, I mean, this is not mandated, you don't need to, you don't need to add any description to it if you don't want to, so just go ahead and put whatever or just don't put anything, and just click the button submit. So once you submit this, what this does is, hold on, let me show you is it, it goes on to a state of pending so what this does is the cj team will grab this information and within two to three business days they're going to be come coming they're going to come back to you and give you the options that they found in terms of what products they found under which supplier or manufacturer and once they found a good product or the final price you're going to get this message here where it says sourcing succeeded so over here, you can check this out. You can check the option. You can analyze the option that they're giving you by clicking, clicking on details and just view the product details. And over here, you can see uh, information such as the shipping fee, such as, hold on, let's see, the, pro the product's price, uh, all the variations that you, you, you may want to sell if you want to sell all of them. The shipping methods, again, always try to choose CJ packet. Uh, shipping cost, how much would it cost? Now, in terms of shipping, they, um, they give, the cost will depend on the weight of the product. So the more, the heaviest, the more money you need to pay in shipping. And the total drop shipping price would be uh, the price that will be covering the product's price and the shipping fee. So this would be your final price that you need to be covering and paying and once you already let's say you decided to use this same item you can list it and you can have it on your cj dropshipping account you can have a store here or you just grab the title the um the url here and then just simply heading over to dsm and doing the six set the same exact thing heading over to rapid lister and on rapid lister you just simply hold on just simply paste the information here and just hit the import button that's it and then you just optimize your listings accordingly so this is how you find products on cj i just want to quickly uh, go over uh, fast we have a video a full video on cj two videos actually one interview with the C one of the cj team members and a full video where i show you two videos actually three videos sorry one interview and two videos where i show you how to use the website and the platform so go ahead and check it out okay so Towards now, let me show you the products that I found. I will go as fast as possible. We only we have 54 minutes in. Harbert Martin says, my DSM tool doesn't work correctly. Okay, please, can you send an email or a direct message to our customer support team? The way you do that, by the way, for those of you who have DSM, if you're having issues, which we apologize, we're working a lot on, you know, bettering the software. Currently, we're, we're, our team is working a lot because we're going to be changing a few things to uh, better give you a better user experience. But the way you can go ahead and contact our chat support team is on this page. You'll see this small. Oh, you don't you don't see it because I am there. OK, so let me show you here. Go on uh, settings. No, wait, hold on. Sales and orders. 
sorry, man, is an hour. Okay, it's Help Center. Okay, on the Help Center, if you scroll down, you'll see the chat support uh, the ch chat support uh, tab. Click on the chat support tab, and over here you can send a message and just let us know what is your problem, what issue you're having, and under 10 minutes you're going to be giving a response, and hopefully we're going to be able to clear your problem off. Okay, however, please do that. Uh, I am only on the YouTube content creation part. So let us know through the customer support chat. Okay, so the first product I found is this one over here. This has six cells overall. This is a chair cover dining spandex elastic um, case for a chair. Uh, as you guys can see, it has different variations, uh, six cells overall, in which uh, almost all of them were made, five of them were made in the past 30 days. Found the same exact item for this price here, uh, free shipping using AliExpress Tinder shipping. And as you guys can see, if we calculate your profits by doing the same thing I showed you guys, this seller is gaining a $5.81 total, a total profit margin of $5.81. Second product would be this one, this flip remote key shell. Find the same product over here for a cheaper price. Uh, AliExpress and our shipping fee would be 1.95 and the fee or the profit margin of the seller would be eight bucks. Same goes for this one right here. Uh, again, you can review all the products because I gave you the link of eBay, the link of AliExpress, and I gave you the profits, but you can do that yourself. In fact, let me share this with you guys right now. And I apologize if you hear a sound, there's, they're mowing the lawn right now. So I apologize for that. Okay. Again, dude, uh, Robert, please send a message. Let our customer support team know, uh, what the issue is, what the issue is, and they're going to be able to fix it. Okay. Anyway, there you have it. Okay. There you have it. This is the, uh, I will be approving, you know, in the upcoming days, uh, for all of you who send me the request of having this awesome calculator. Uh, but that would be concluding my presentation of the day, my uh, product research presentation. Uh, we remember we found we used three methods, three methods, SIG Analytics as software, CJ Dropshipping as a platform, and the first method that we used with is going to be a sniping technique. That means that you don't need to have any software or platform whatsoever to find good products, but it's going to take a little bit more time. As you guys saw, if you stuck to the whole presentation by using the C the first method, the sniping method. Uh, it's harder for me to find a good profit, pro, uh, profitable product, but with Zig Analytics, it's very, very fast. Anyway, there you have it. I appreciate all of you who stuck to the whole presentation. And if you're watching this, uh, pre not live, please, if you feel or you felt that this information was valuable for you and to you, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button because we're going live every single week, every Wednesday, trying to go live at 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, this means that it's 10 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. Currently, it's 11 a.m. Currently here, I am from Nicaragua, Central America. Uh, so thank you so much for watching.